Did anyone catch the Umbrella Corpse gameplay? Anybody? I did. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words for this. Well, honestly, the first thing that came to mind is... At least it's not as bad as I thought. It seems functional, but then again, it seems like any other generic third-person shooter, really. With a dash of zombies in it. But did anyone else think it's funny just watching this guy crawl around? Look at that fucking zombie. I don't know why the thing is kind of funny. I don't. I can't really hate this. But then again, I don't particularly like it either. I have a feeling this, this is going to be one of those online shooters that just kind of fade off after a short amount of time. Like Crisis 3, you know? I'm serious. I played Crisis 3 a few weeks ago, and there was only 14 motherfucking people online. Recently, the number has gone up because Xbox Live has given it away for free. So now it's up in the 800 and almost 1,000 range. But honestly, it's given another couple months. It's going to die down again because it's one of those online shooters that aren't really going to catch on. You want to know why? There's one big thing that all these shooters nowadays are missing. They're not Call of Duty. I'm sorry, and that's how I feel about Umbrella Corps. Sure, I mean, I have a feeling that a lot of people will get it when it first comes out. And then after about six months, who's gonna even gonna remember the game, you know? It'll just die off and drift away into obscurity. Am I the only one who thinks it's weird how each character has like a zombie blocker thing on their back, and once it breaks, the zombies can start seeing you again? I mean, it's kind of like, it's cool how the zombies are there to add like an extra element to fight off, but... What's what's the point? It just get rid of the zombies. You're gonna have a straightforward third-person shooter. I don't know. I guess trying to make it unique, trying to make it somewhat reasonable, the Resident Evil universe. I guess. Honestly, after watching the first trailer, it and then now watching this, it's kind of almost exactly what I thought it was gonna be like. This looks like a Tom Clancy game with zombies. I honestly can't muster up any energy to really be mad at it because I'm really not. I'm just kind of looking at it going. Okay, this is a this is a thing. Apparently, they're they're serious about this. It looks better than Operation Raccoon City, I guess. But then again, that's not really saying much. This might be the biggest pile of shit that Capcom has ever put out. But then again, I won't know until I play it, and I don't really have any attention to playing it because Capcom actually has other future projects that I'm actually looking forward to. So seeing this makes me go, well, if it sucks, at least no one will actually play it. So who's the target demographic? Who's the crowd that Capcom is trying to sell this to? The Call of Duty crowd? No, they got Call of Duty. They're, they're doing fine. If a Call of Duty gamer just kind of saw this, they'll kind of laugh at it. They're like, what the fuck is this? Zombies? Third person? What? I'm not saying Call of Duty players are dumb. I'm just saying that they're trying to appeal to a crowd of people who already have a game series they're already dedicated to. So it's not really going to be any threat to Call of Duty. You can't really compete with it. And it's definitely not going to win any of them over. I'm saying, in comparison to Call of Duty, this is very unappealing to the average Call of Duty gamer. Not only Call of Duty, but fuck, Halo, Battlefield, they have their games, their game series, they see this, it's doesn't really look like, I'm serious, it's, like, it's nothing like it, which is good, but it's an online shooter trying to compete with it, because seriously, who else is Capcom making this game for? The only people that are going to play this game are going to be people who are just interested in it because they want to see if it's bad, because they know Capcom, they know that this is like in the Resident Evil universe, or it's going to be people who like online shooters. And for the people who actually like online shooters a lot, they're probably going to play it and then just return it a few days later because, well, it's not really what they're looking for. And if they were to look up gameplay beforehand like this, they can already tell it's probably nothing they're going to like. Hell, I could be full of shit, and it could do pretty well, it could have solid gameplay, but it's unappealing to me, and it looks like it's unappealing to a lot of people in general. I don't really know what to make of it. Just, meh. I'm probably going to forget about this game in about a month anyway. So, thanks for watching. I'm Tex, I'll catch you next time.